here in this question we have given energy released in explosion equals to 5 5 0 0 joule now here to calculate the energy of particle a and b first of all we know that the law of conservation of momentum states that the initial momentum of the system is equal to the final momentum of the system so we can write this as p of i equals to p of f or we can write this that zero equals to m of a multiply by v of a plus m of b multiply by v of b here m of a and m of b are the masses and v of a and v of b are the final velocity of two masses with zero initial momentum so we rewrite the equation for v of a so we get v of a equals to minus m of b multiply by v of b divided by m of a here the negative sign indicates the direction now here the final energy of the two pieces is given as e equals to 1 divided by 2 m of a multiply by v of a square plus 1 divided by 2 m of b multiply by v of b square now here we substitute 1.5 multiply by m of b for m of a and 2 divided by 3 multiply by v of b for v of a so we get e equals to 1 divided by 2 multiply by 1.5 multiply by m of b multiply by 2 divided by 3 multiply by v of b to the power 2 plus 1 divided by 2 m of b multiply by v of b square now on simplifying this we get e equals to 5 divided by 3 multiply by 1 divided by 2 m of b multiply by v of b square or we can write this that e equals to 5 divided by 3 multiply by final kinetic energy of particle b so now we rewrite the above equation for the final kinetic energy of b which is given by the final kinetic energy of b equals to 3 divided by 5 multiplied by e now on substituting the value that is 5500 0, 0 joule for e we get the final kinetic energy of b equals to 3300 0, 0 joule which is the required final kinetic energy of the particle b now we rewrite the equation that is for final kinetic energy of A that is final kinetic energy of A equals to E minus final kinetic energy of B 
so now on substituting the value we get 5 5 0 0 minus 3 3 0 0 now after subtracting we get 2 2 0 0 joule therefore the final kinetic energy of P say or we can say particle A equals to 2 to 0 0 joule.